Like a long-lost arm that unexpectedly turns up on your doorstep out of the blue for the party, Luxembourg stunned the Eurovision world last year by announcing that they had decided to return in 2024 after excusing themselves for 30 years. The winner of the imaginatively titled Luxembourg Song Contest was Tally with her dance number Fighter. This is a power anthem that packs power indeed. It's got tropical vibes and is quite playful without being childish or silly. My impression of the song is proved considerably with the live performance. For the most part, it seemed Eurovision ready. Tali's vocals need a little work as she was out of breath at times, but she's got plenty of time to work on that. What definitely doesn't need work, however, is the choreo. It's slick as hell, and some of the best choreo I've ever seen. Lyrically, I like the blend of French and English, and the transition between the two is quite smooth, not jarring at all. The French helps give this song a silver of Luxembourgish identity, whilst the English makes it more accessible to a wider audience. My only critique of the lyrics that some are a bit cliché. Fight your battles, believe in yourself, the world is out there, set out to conquer it. They're hardly the most groundbreaking lines, but most of the questionable lyrics are in French, and so will pass the average viewer by. On the whole, I am very impressed with Luxembourg's entry, and while Crick would have also been a great choice, it's nice to see them herald their new era with something quite different from the ballads of yesteryear they typically sent. Is this good enough to get Luxembourg through to the final on their first year back? I think so, although it's in a very tough semi-final, so we'll have to wait and see. In terms of the grand final itself, maybe around mid-table is a reasonable expectation. The performance is amazing, but falls short of being jaw-dropping on the scale of Cyprus in 2018 or Israel in 2023. Feel free to leave your thoughts on Luxembourg's entry in the comments below.